One issue that you could come up with when you try to open up a DXF file is that you open it up and it appears that there's nothing in the file, although there's supposed to be. So I'll take this file here, which is 25 KB. So open it up and there is apparently nothing to be seen here. Zoom extents, nothing. However, if we go, go to the uh, layers, uh, you can see there are layers in here. If we click on here, we do see that there are objects in this drawing. So there's something there, we just can't see it. Uh, so what could have happened is, or what's likely to have happened, is uh, that the geometry may have been drawn on the, uh, the paper space or saved on the, from the paper space uh, in the CAD system. And then uh, iGEMS then makes a block out of that and puts that on a separate layer. So, for example, if I open up this file, here's the part, and you'll see down here at the bottom we have model space and this fan shroud sheet. So, there is that information there. So, if that happens, what you can do is uh, basically insert that information. It's saved as a block. And to insert that, that's under the group submenu, and you go down to insert block. And if you click on this little pull down here, it shows us the information that was on that sheet. And then you have these choices here that you can turn on or off uh, if you want to specify the position, or I'll just put it in at 00, zero and so on. And then you have this box down here for explode. Uh, if you check this box, then when you insert the uh, this block, it'll explode it, so then you can create a part out of that. If you don't check this box, you'll have to explode later, because you can't make a part out of a, a block item. So I'm going to leave that unchecked for right now, just so we can see that. So now, zoom extents, and there's my part. So as you see, as I click on one of these lines, the entire thing is selected because it is a block, and if I go and try to create a part out of this and select that, it won't let you select it, you can't do anything with it. So if you get to this point, you can just select it, and then on your CAD tab, you can ex uh, do explode or the shortcut key X. And now it's separate entities. And then, of course, we'd want to uh, we can delete these lines and whatever else we need to do. And then we should be able to make a part out of it. There we go. So if I backtrack a bit here, if when I did that uh, block insert, I had checked the explode, and I'll uncheck those again then it would bring it in and it would already have exploded it so you could skip that step. But if you don't remember to do that, it's no big deal. Just use your explode command, shortcut key X, and then you can work with it. So if you have any questions on that, please let me know. Thanks.